I'm Barb from Coach House Designs and today I'm going to talk to you about trimming up triangle squares. I have behind me my fall awakening quilt and here is a square that is divided into two with a triangle on either side and that's called a triangle square. On the table I have two layer cake squares. They're 10 inch squares and they come in packages from different fabric lines, usually with one piece of every fabric in the line in the package. So for Fall Awakening, the entire pattern is made by placing uh, two layer cake squares, one on top of the other, drawing a diagonal line down the center and sewing on either sides of the line like I have here. And I've used black thread so that you can see where the stitching is. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up with the drawn line in the center, and cut the square open. So now I'm left with two triangles. The next thing I have done is pressed the triangle square open. This triangle square is going to be nine and a half inches square. In order to easily cut and trim the sides of the block, you need to have a ruler that is at least nine and a half inches. And in order to get a nine and a half inch ruler, you need to get a square ruler. And it can be bigger than nine and a half inches, but it has to be at least nine and a half inches. So this ruler is a 15 inch square. And down the center of the ruler is a diagonal line, which is on a 45 degree angle. And what I'm gonna do is line up that line with the center of the block where the two fabrics meet. And then I will line up here is nine and a half inches and here is nine and a half inches. So I will take my cutter and just cut along there and along there. Remove those pieces. And then I'm just gonna turn over just to make sure. This is nine and a half this way, like that, like that, and it's perfect. So that is a really easy way to cut triangle squares using a square ruler, lining up the two sides with the unfinished size that you are trying to get and cutting off the two edges that hang over. The easiest thing, or the most important thing, excuse me, is to make sure that the diagonal line stays on the center of the block and that way your square will remain square and it will be a perfect nine and a half inch square. You can also trim triangle squares with other rulers. And in this case, I've got an eight and a half by 24 inch ruler. And like all long 24 inch rulers, there are angles marked on them. So this particular angle that we wanna use is the 45 degree angle, which goes from the eight and a half to the bottom corner. So the largest triangle square block that you can trim with an eight and a half inch wide ruler is an eight and a half inch block. Or you can choose anything smaller than that, but it at least has to be, the most it can be is eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna take that 45 degree angle and I'm gonna place it on the center line of the block and then adjust the ruler so that this edge here is marked up uh, is even with the eight and a half inch measurement and it's eight and a half inches this way. So if I trim off this side and this side, I now have an eight and a half inch square. If I want to trim this down to seven and a half inches. I line up the seven and a half inch measurement. First of all, first of all, line up the 45 degree angle, then put the seven and a half measurement there. 
then on here as well, which is here, sorry, like that. So it's seven and a half inches here, seven and a half inches here. Trim, trim, and then I've got a seven and a half inch perfect half square triangle square. And we can keep on doing, going down and making it smaller and smaller, just to show you that you can use any ruler as long as the width of the ruler is at least the size of your block and trim it down. So I could even go down and use my 45 degree angle to trim this down to a two and a half inch square if I wanted to. Here I have a triangle square which started out as two, three, and seven, eight inch squares layered on top of each other, line drawn, sewn on either side of the line, and then cut down the center just like we did for the layer cake squares. So I'm gonna trim using this ruler. And this is a ruler put out by Cozy Quilt Designs. It's called the Strip Tube Junior. And the ruler has a bunch of different markings on, but when you're doing the trimming of triangle squares, you use the horizontal line. So the solid line is for the inch and the dotted line is for the half inch. Now, because we started out with three and seven eighths, the finished or the unfinished size of this block will be three and a half inches. So I want to use the three and a half inch line. So that's this dotted line below the solid three inch line. And I place that along the line of stitching. And I line up the point with the point of the triangle. And then I'm just gonna hold that down and trim the sides like that. Now there's not much extra fabric here because I started with the three and seven eighths inch square. Um, not like when we were doing the layer cake squares where there's a little bit more room to play with the trimming because we started with a larger square to begin with. So then we press that open and then we've got a perfect three and a half inch square. Thanks for stopping by.